Hi, I'm Paul Vinson, and we're here in beautiful downtown Long Beach, where it's the 2008 Engineered Plumbing Exposition. Let's go check out what's inside. We're here at the booth of Charlotte and I'm speaking with Bill. Bill, how you doing? Great, Paul, how you doing today? Good, how's the convention going for you so far? It's been very good, thank you. All right, why don't you tell us a little bit about Charlotte and what you guys actually do? Sure. Uh, Charlotte Pipe and Foundry manufactures uh, cast iron sole pipe in service, extra heavy, and no hub through 15 inch. We make uh, PVC, CPVC in pressure uh, applications. We make ABS and PVC in drainage applications. And we also make CPVC uh, chem drain uh, chemical waste piping system. And we've been in business for about 107 years now. Wow, congratulations. That's Thank you great. very much. Describe why exhibiting at the uh, Engineer Plumbing Exposition is so important to your business. We feel very strongly about ASPE as an organization. One of the things that the industry um, is challenged in, in some regards, is education. And ASPE is uh, an organization that is all about education, and they do a very good job of providing that to uh, both the design and the, uh, the contracting community. One of the, uh, uh, the other things that's very important to us is that uh, I uh, have a group of coworkers that work with the design community on a daily basis. And it's important that they not only understand um, our products, but they also understand the context within which the products are, are used. And the classes that ASPE offers uh, at the exposition and also the uh, symposium on the alternate year um, are very valuable to my folks so that they can do their jobs more effectively. Do you guys have any new products this year and how are they being perceived uh, by the, your customers? Well, one of the, uh, the new products that we have is our ChemDrain chemical waste piping system and that's typically used for uh, acid waste ap laboratory applications and for those applications what you require is something that's got uh, chemical resistance to a broad range of chemicals uh, generally disposed of in small quantities and flushed by water. The Engineered Plumbing Exposition, has it provided the big bang for the buck that you were expecting? It's very difficult to, uh, to quantify return on investment for something like this. You need to look long term um, and consider the, uh, the benefits to the business, uh, consider your relationships with uh, the design community, with the engineers. Um, and ASPE provides so much to the uh, designers that we feel that if we're going to support the industry, it's important that we support not only this show, but uh, Plumbing System and Design Magazine, which is one of the very best publications for uh, plumbing designers in the industry. The magazine's full of uh, great technical content. Paul, the, uh, the, the benefit to being here, the, the cost of not being here, you know, certainly there's um, perhaps some opportunities, some jobs that, uh, that have been presented to us um, in talking to some of the designers that would have an immediate benefit for us, but it's more of a long-term benefit in participating together with ASPE and being part of the association, uh, networking with these folks. Um, and supporting the industry that we feel is so important. So, you know, certainly there are some short-term benefits, but we see it more as a long-term partnership together with ASPE. Is the attendance quality at the exposition meeting your expectations? And how about the attendance quantity? Well, Paul, we, we've certainly had uh, significant traffic here um, in the booth at the exposition. Um, so I would give it high marks in that regard. Um, but we're also getting um, a, a great bunch of folks in here that are, that are decision makers, that are knowledgeable, that are seeking information on our products and the application. And they're coming into the booth and they've got questions and they've got um, uh, concerns about applications and they're looking for solutions. Do you have more or less the same booth personnel as you have in the past years? 
No, in fact, our booth pe personnel have changed significantly. Uh, we used to attend this show with uh, some of our sales managers, uh, but over the last few years, we built a staff of uh, technical service, field technical service representatives, and these are folks that uh, are not at all salespeople. They couldn't give you a price on anything to save their lives, but they understand the products and the applications very, very well, and what they're tasked to do is to work with the, uh, primarily with the design community, but then also with the contracting community, uh, providing them education on our products. Bill, uh, how did your uh, show setup go for you? I mean, did you have an easy time getting uh, your freight? Uh, was your booth accessible for you? Uh, your uh, booth personnel registered, uh, badges picked up, uh, any problems at all? No, we had uh, no difficulties at all. Uh, the booth setup went very easily. Um, our booth was located pretty central to the, uh, the dock. Um, stuff all arrived on time. Uh, this uh, exposition's been very nice in that the, uh, the hall is immediately adjacent to the hotel, so you didn't have to take a cab or a shuttle bus to get here. So it's really been a good experience. Have you already signed up for 2010? Uh, yes, in fact, we um, generally select our booth space uh, while we're here um, at the exposition and we're signed up for the next. And in fact, the uh, 2012 exposition is scheduled to be in Charlotte, North Carolina, very close to our, our corporate offices and the foundry, and we're very much looking forward to uh, Charlotte in 2012.